Hello, it's Craig from bestfox.co.uk here, and in this video I'm going to show you everything that I painted during the lockdown period. Stay tuned. Okay, so here is everything that I managed to build and paint during the lockdown period. There's a couple of bits that aren't here, um, because they're sort of halfway through um, for videos. So there's that Scale 75 bust. And the Carmine Dragon, you may have seen them on our Instagram already, but they're sort of halfway through at the moment because I'm doing a video series on them. So, yeah, a lot more than I thought actually. Let's sort of get into it. We'll go in some sort of order. So, um, we'll start with this stupid dude. Um, I made this guy as a joke at the beginning of this whole lockdown period. Um, obviously, everyone was going out buying bog roll for no apparent reason. So, yeah, I made him as a joke, and, yeah, we'll move on from him. So, um, yeah, then I just went at it with Plague Marines. Twelve of them. They've been sitting around for ages. I still want to add more to my Death Guard. I'm really happy with how they turned out. There is a video of how I achieved this colour scheme on a painting tutorial playlist, if you want to know how to paint them. Here's quite a popular video on the channel. Um, I continued the Nurgle theme and painted some Slaves to Darkness, so I haven't done the Knights yet. I did build them, but I haven't painted them yet. I'm really happy with how the Chaos Lord turned out. Uh, I do apologise, I'm sort of filming on my phone, so it has a crazy autofocus. But really happy with him. One of my favourite models I've painted during this lockdown. There's a few little conversions, as you can see. Sort of Nurgle him up. Um, some in the squad as well. You may be able to spot the odd little Nurgle weapon and the head in there. Really happy with them. I may do a tutorial on how to paint these. Um, I've loosely sort of followed the tutorial by Darren Latham on how he painted his Nurgle armour, but I think he has taken his channel down some point in June, so maybe I'll have to do my own video. Um, it's not it's not exactly the same as his method, but it's it uses a lot of the same colours, and the results are um, amazing. Really happy with that. Uh, Glorial Summer Bloom, which is the miniature that I absolutely loved, so I had to get hold of her. Obviously, I don't really play Blood Bowl, so I gave her a sword and a fan. And yeah, I might use her as a mage for Caesar Sigma or something like that. But I um, absolutely love her miniature. I'll just go on over here. I'm already completely, probably out of sync now, going in order, but... And um, the Mindstealer Sphinx. I really like the sort of rainbow one that was on Warhammer Community. So I've sort of done something similar. Obviously no one knew it was good, but... Really happy with that. And I finally painted Molly Mock. From Critical Role for a painting tutorial and um, did a little, little, little freehand bits on his um, cape as well. Really nice little miniature. Uh, we'll go over here. Um, I just painted some Walking Dead stuff, just using contrast paints and a few highlights. Nothing too special at all. These are just to get them done, and I'll probably paint. A lot more Walking Dead stuff, just using contrast paints. And um, they look alright. Also painted some Fallout stuff. Again, this is another range I really need to start getting, getting on a bit more. Got Piper there, who's one of my favourite characters from Fallout 4, so got her painted. A couple of little bots as well. Uh, we'll look at the Sisters of Battle. So I've got my converted canoness there, if it wants to focus on her. I've got some Crusaders painted. I've had these for ages, even before they made their way into the Sisters of Battle list, so I thought was, now would be a good time to paint them up. Got some Retributors. Already painted up the leader to these, which is why she's not here. And a couple of Penitent Engines as well, which I'm not a massive fan of the actual miniatures. They're okay. I just don't like the flailing arms. I don't like how this one, his arms sort of just there. I don't like that much at all. Um, but the other one's pretty good. 
I did some more for my Plutonians. And I put this guy facing backwards. Turn around. So the trebuchet, a miniature I've had sitting around for ages. Um, I actually started the Plutonian series about two years ago. So I'll definitely have to do a bit more of them. But yeah, the trebuchet, really nice miniature. Over here, got some Carnival stuff. Um, kind of wish I didn't flock the bases on these, but I just couldn't get them off the bases without doing damage, so I just done some flock. The ones I did manage to get off, I um, green stuffed some sort of stonework for them. Then I built this Doctor's Gang from the Doctor's starter set, and then used um, I actually used air drying clay with a green stuff world roller just to achieve the base on these guys which I was really happy with I love the Plague Doctor miniature, it seemed quite apt um, at the moment to have a Plague Doctor but yeah lovely miniature also started painting some Nighthorn, I've had loads of Nighthorn I had for, I've got a big Battle Force box and the um, stuff from the what their half of the starter set so Got 20 chain rasps painted, and also the Lord Executioner. Oh, sorry, and Knight of Shrouds. Try and keep the camera a bit more steady. Love the Knight of Shrouds, just a beautiful miniature. And then, um, is it the Haradrons, is it uh, Dreadscythe Haradrons, something like that? Um, oh, decided to add some turquoise into the mix to make these look slightly different. And really happy with how they came out. Got that sort of synth wave feel to them. But yeah, if you look at the Night Haunt though, they, they look quite pretty. They look even better if, they, if they're in focus. There we go. <laughs> then, very recently, I just finished off this squad of Reavers for my Imperial Fists. And um, they didn't really take too long to paint. And then you'd have noticed at the back as well some Necromunda terrain, so let's move around here. Are you going to focus? Thank you. So a lot of these actual Zone Mortalis walls and stuff were already painted. It's just a case of painting up and building the tiles. And the tiles are... Um, this one has actually got a couple of layers of cork tile underneath, but the others use um, foam board. Which is why I've had to prop this one up with an extra little piece of MDF. Which I'll get glued to the bottom at some point. Uh, the tower, I did, I did paint. That wasn't already painted. And then there's a few little bits of scattered terrain that I've painted up to go with them as well. And also I had to paint the doors, and that should come out. Yeah, there we go. Um, I've also got another tile half painted as well. Um, I ran out. Uh, uh, yeah, pretty much ran out of steel legion drab, and then it was out of stock. When I last looked on GW, but it might be back in now. I'm gonna have a look later on. But yeah, that's um that's it. That is it. That is everything that I painted during lockdown. I'm quite happy considering. Um, I mean, I'm still working to some degree. I've been looking after my daughter a bit more than usual because obviously um her nursery has been shut. So I haven't had a great deal more time than I would have usually. Really, there's been there's been some evenings where I've had a bit more time but on the whole not a great deal more so it's been nice it's just been nice to get stuff painted um not being able to buy new stuff for a couple of months really does make a difference and you actually get on with some of the old stuff so i'm gonna try and be i'm gonna try and be good going forward uh famous last words we've all said that before haven't we Ooh. Anyway, yeah, um, let us know in the comments what you managed to get done during the lockdown period. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also, 
Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.